You know, I never really minded whales too much as long as their breasts and butt were proportionately larger than their waist and their nipples were kind of tiny and they didn't really have any cellulite. Of course, with a pretty face. I'm 100% down. Granted, I don't jerk off for a day or two, so I feel straight. <laughs> but uh, uh, onto, onto the real topic at hand, guys, whales. Look, someone from the federal government has to contact me because I've always wanted to sell whale meat on Frankie's Free Range Meat, especially whale blubber. I'm sure you guys would go crazy for that. So look, like, look, look, I keep my mouth shut. Like, let's work out a deal 50-50, Frankie's Free Range Whale Meat. Come on, someone hit me up. And hey, look, if, if one of you guys come across one of these whale carcasses on the beach before anyone else finds out, look, give me a call. They're, they're washing up in New Jersey. I'll be there in 45 minutes and we can cut it up ourselves. Like, like, come on, guys, what's the deal? Anyway, um, before we get started on today's topic, I did want to mention uh, we did the video uh, maybe a week and a half ago on the Frank Tefano seminar uh, that will be happening probably the last weekend in May. Uh, so, guys, definitely check out that video. It's going to be exclusive, in-person seminar, all the secrets, everything you need to kind of know about basically the stuff I can't talk about on YouTube. So. Uh, be sure to watch that and then send me an email later. But uh, let's see. Whales wind turbines. Six dead whales are offshore wind farms to blame. Environmental groups Monday called for a federal investigation into whether sonar mapping related to proposed offshore wind energy farms is responsible for what they say is an unprecedented series of whale deaths along the New Jersey and New York coasts. Yeah, so if you guys are out of the loop, these whales are washing up on shore, which is like crazy concerning, and they're basically just brushing this under the rug. You know, it's reminiscent of all of those birds that were dying, you know, over the past few years, just flocks of birds literally dropping out of the sky. In all, six dead whales, predominantly juveniles, have washed up in the last 33 days on the beaches from Cape May to Montauk Point, New York, including two in the past three weeks in Atlantic City and one in Strathmere in early December, they said. <laughs> That's funny, man. Last time I went into the gym sauna, there were 33 old men trying to get me to uh, hang out with them, but that didn't work out so well. <laughs> the wave of dead whales is the ocean sounding the alarm, and we must heed the warning, said Cindy Zip, executive director of the environmental group Clean Ocean Action. At a news conference, Monday, headed by ZIP, a coalition of environmental groups and opponents of offshore wind energy projects, urged President Biden's administration to conduct a transparent investigation into why so many whales are dying. It's comically disgusting, guys. It's comically disgusting. Oh, we got to investigate. These people love playing stupid. Oh, we don't know what's going on. We have no idea. Let's do an investigation to try to find out. As if they don't have this like crazy alien technology that a human can't even fathom to create, you know? That's destroying the ecosystems. The technology required for these wind turbines and the types of frequencies and magnetic fields and uh, EMFs that they're emitting, that's messing up with the whale's migration pattern, whatever it is. They very well know exactly what's going on. They just have to play dumb. Otherwise, they couldn't get away with it. That's, that, that's really what they're doing. Uh, so what's probably happening is they have some type of wall or barrier of wind turbines, and it's creating this type of magnetic field, and the whales aren't able to navigate around it so they end up just maybe losing their food source and starving and washing up on shore. So something with the magnetic field is, is causing the whales to either go under an incredible amount of oxidative stress or they're not able to navigate their way through it. The news conference was held on an Atlantic City beach where one of two dead humpback whales washed ashore in the past month. A 30-foot female whale was buried on the beach near Georgia Avenue on January 7th but the stench of its carcass lingered in the air. Guys, a humpback whale weighs 55 to 66,000 pounds. So even if we only get like a quarter of the yield of the whale, then, you know, I mean, whale sells at a premium, right? We could do at least 25 bucks a pound. Guys, we can buy, we can get Frankie Strange Meat new meat processing plant with just one humpback whale. Hopefully, hey, that could be the, that could be the next big thing. 
Frankie Syringe will meet. I'm telling you guys, it's realistic. We just need, look, se seven whales have washed up on the shores recently. We just need one of them. Our government has provided these entities with a license to kill, said Suzanne Hornick, an Ocean City resident and member of the group project Our Coast, New Jersey. Hornick, an outspoken opponent of the wind farm proposed from Atlantic City to Stone Harbor, joined with Clean Ocean Action in calling on the federal government to halt the offshore projects until further study can be done on their environmental impacts. We need to stay focused. We need to put a halt to this. We need to find better alternatives for cleaner energy. Most importantly, we need to have the answers as to why these animals are washing up. It's not just here. It's up and down our East Coast, Hornick said. Yeah, then they go into some like sustainable energy BS and how they need these wind turbines to combat climate change, but we're not allowed to talk about that. Thursday's discovery occurred just miles from where another dead whale was found in Atlantic City on January 7th. A 30-foot female humpback whale also washed up in the area on December 23rd. In addition, a 12-foot sperm whale washed up in Keensburg on December 5th, followed by a juvenile humpback whale in Strathmere on December 10th. Further away, I mean, there's a lot of whales in this, in this New York, New Jersey area. So according to these articles, the wind turbines were installed from Atlantic City to Stone Harbor, which is, I mean, a very, very large percentage of the coast of New Jersey, I think over 25%. So, I mean, it's pretty safe to say that maybe once a whale gets into to that portion of wind turbines, they don't really want to uh, get their way back out if there's some sort of line of EMF magnetic radiation disrupting it. But, I mean, there's not really, you know, much to say here, guys, because with all of what's happened over these past few years with them installing, you know, all of these Wi-Fi devices in our life, not just the marine life, you know, they've been setting up these um, LED lamps and all of these towers throughout every city uh, that we know, uh, the five grams towers that's disrupting our life and that hasn't been tested on us. Now that they're just translating it to the ocean life. So, um, you know, th this technology and, and what these things actually do is something that I'm not really allowed to talk about on YouTube. So we will touch on it in the, in the seminar that we have. Uh, in New York in late May, but uh, you know it, it's pretty obvious what's really going on. You know, as we said, they're setting up some sort of technology infrastructure to basically destroy our planet uh, under the guise of it actually being better for the environment, and then playing dumb and all that nonsense. Uh, but it's just you know it's just crazy what they get away with because people just want to sit at home and watch Netflix. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully uh, your Monday is going a little better than mine. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. If you do want to support me further, you can check out frank stefanocom where you will see all of my businesses. But thanks again, guys, and we'll see you for the next video. Bro, someone come f***ing carry me out of this chair. Holy shit.